Good day everyone. Myself Tripti Mishra. Today I am going to discuss some NCERT exemplar multiple choice questions with you of class 10th chapter number 1 chemical reactions and equation. Multiple choice questions gives you chance to apply your knowledge in different situations which you have gained by reading theory of the chapter. As you know, multiple choice questions are asked in most of the competitive exams. From the session 2019-20, CBSC has also changed the pattern of class 10th science question paper. Now, 25% weightage is given to multiple choice questions and very short answer type questions. So, you should give more emphasis on multiple choice questions. Now, by keeping all these things in my mind, I decided to make this video to clear your concept. Here in this video, I will discuss 10 multiple choice questions with you. So, first question is, which of the following is not a physical change? Now, here you should know what is the physical change and what is the chemical change. Already we have discussed chemical changes are that in which the nature and the identity of the initial substance have somewhat changed. Whenever a chemical change occurs, then a chemical reaction has taken place and a new substance is formed. So, by this concept we will discuss all the points. A is boiling of water to give water vapor. Boiling of water to give water vapor. As you know here, new substance is not formed. Nature and identity of initial substance is also not changing. So, this is a physical change. It is a physical change. So, it is not a correct answer because here we have to find out which is a which is not a physical change. Not a physical change. It is a physical change. Then B is melting of ice to give water. Melting of ice is also a physical change. In this also nature and identity of the initial substance is not changing. Initially ice is the actually water H2O. Water is also water H2O. So nature and identity is not changing. This is also a physical change. C is dissolution of salt in water. As we dissolve the salt in water then also it is a physical change. In this nature of the salt is not changing. Nature of the water is also not changing and any new substance is not formed. So this is also a physical change not a chemical change. Now D is combustion of liquefied petroleum gas. As the liquefied petroleum gas is combusted, it forms carbon dioxide and it gives heat and chemical reaction has taken place. New substances are formed. So, it is not a physical change. So, our correct answer will be D. Which, which is not a physical change. Change. D is not a physical change. Combustion of liquefied petroleum gas LPG is actually a chemical change. Question number 2 is which of the following statements about the given reactions are correct? 3Fe solid plus 4H2O gas gives Fe3O4 solid plus 4 H2 gas. First statement is iron metal is getting oxidized. Here iron is getting the oxygen and changing to Fe3O4 or gaining the oxygen means oxidized. So this is correct iron metal is getting oxidized. This is correct. Here also iron's oxidation state is increasing. Then we can say iron metal is getting oxidized. So it is correct statement. Then second one water is getting reduced. Yes water is losing the oxygen. Then it is 
loss of the oxygen is redu reduction so we can say water is getting reduced this is this statement is also correct third one is water is acting as reducing agent no this statement is not correct because reducing agent means which is taking the oxygen of others here water is not taking the oxygen of others it is giving the oxygen so water is not a reducing agent here so this statement is wrong fourth is water is acting as oxidizing agent yes this is also correct it is giving the oxygen and the um, substance which is giving the oxygen that is acting as oxidizing agent so this fourth statement is also correct now we will say which one option is correct here c1 option first second and fourth first second and fourth are correct so this c1 option is correct question number 3 is electrolysis of water is a decomposition reaction the mole ratio of hydrogen and oxygen gases liberated during electrolysis of water is first we should know how the de uh, decomposition of water by the electrolysis process takes place in this already we have studied in activity 1.7 of ncert book in this we are taking electrolysis we are doing the electrolysis of water then reaction takes place as like 2 h2o as it is going through electrolysis then it will give 2 h2 plus o2 it is also in gaseous state this is also we will get in gaseous state this is in the liquid state so here as we two moles of water are decomposed then two mole of hydrogen gas will be formed and one mole of oxygen gas will be formed so the ratio of hydrogen gas and oxygen gas will be according to the mole ratio which is formed during the reaction and here we can say during the reaction two mole hydrogen are forms and one mole oxygen is formed so ratio will be 2 ratio 1 hydrogen and oxygen gas ratio mole ratio will be 2 ratio 1 so here correct answer will be b b is 2 ratio 1 question number 4 is which of the following are exothermic process here four processes are given in step 1 2 3 4 and we have to find out which uh, out of these four which are the exothermic process so first of all we should know what are the exothermic processes the reactions in which heat heat is released along with the formation of products are called exothermic chemical reactions or exothermic processes it means main character is heat should be released and reaction mixture this released heat makes the reaction mixture warm so now one by one we will discuss the all four options here first one is reaction of water with quick lime this is reaction of water of with quick lime is quick lime is the formula cao that is solid form as we react it with water h2o in liquid form it will form calcium hydroxide caoh hold twice also known as the name slaked lime slaked lime and this is a combination reaction as well as heat is also evolved in this reaction and the reaction mixture becomes warm so this is a exothermic process now second is the dilution of an acid during the dilution of an acid also heat is evolved and reaction mixture becomes warm so this is also a exothermic reaction now 
थर्ड वन इज इवेपोरेशन ऑफ वॉटर ड्यूरिंग द इवेपोरेशन ऑफ वॉटर वॉटर टेक्स द एनर्जी फ्रॉम द सराउंडिंग इट मीन्स एनर्जी इज एब्सॉर्ब एंड इट मेक्स द सराउंडिंग कूल ऑलरेडी वी हैव स्टडीड दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इन क्लास नाइन्थ दैट इवेपोरेशन कॉजेज कूलिंग सो ड्यूरिंग द इवेपोरेशन हीट इज एब्सॉर्ब and it makes the surrounding cool so evaporation is not an exothermic process it is not an exothermic process sublimation of camphor camphor is a sublimable substance and directly it will convert from solid state to gaseous state by absorbing the heat from the surrounding so this is also a endothermic process in which heat is absorbed if we want to make fast sublimyl we have to give it heat so this is also not an exothermic process now the correct answer is first and second and the option first and second we will get in a so a is the correct answer first and second is exothermic processes question number 5 is three beakers labeled as a b and c each containing 25 ml of water were taken a small amount of sodium hydroxide naoh anhydrous copper sulfate cuso4 and sodium chloride nacl were added to the beakers a b and c respectively it means in baker a water was there and we added sodium hydroxide in beaker b water was there and we added anhydrous copper sulfate and in beaker c water was there and we added sodium chloride now it was observed that there was an increase in the temperature of the solutions containing in beaker a and b whereas in case of beaker c the temperature of the solution falls now what we will conclude by this statement that is increase in the temperature of the solutions containing in beaker a and b increase in temperature it means heat is evolved heat is evolved means it is an exothermic process it means the reaction which takes place in beaker a and b is exothermic process whereas in beaker c the temperature of the solution falls temperature of the solution falls means the heat is absorbed and this is endothermic process so we can conclude by this statement we can make the con uh, conclusion that in beaker a and b there is exothermic process and in beaker c there is endothermic process now what question is saying which one of the following statement or statements is or are correct which statements are correct that we have to find out now first statement is in beaker a and b exothermic process has occurred yes in beaker a and b temperature is increased it means exothermic process is occurred first statement is correct now second statement in beaker a and b endothermic process has occurred if there is the increase in the temperature then how it is endothermic so this statement is wrong now third in beaker c exothermic process has occurred here there is the fall in the temperature solution temperature falls in c it means there is endothermic process not the exothermic process so statement c is also wrong now fourth statement is in beaker c endothermic process has occurred yes there is fall in the temperature of beaker c so we can say there is the endothermic process where heat is absorbed so out of a b c d we will find which one option is giving the statement first and fourth yes c is giving the statement first and fourth so correct answer is c
क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स ए डायल्यूट फेरस सल्फेट सोल्यूशन वॉज ग्रेजुअली एडेड टू द बीकर कंटेनिंग एसिडिफाइड पर मैग्नेट सोल्यूशन द लाइट पर्पल कलर ऑफ द सोल्यूशन फेड्स एंड फाइनली डिसअपियर्स विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द करेक्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन फॉर द ऑब्जर्वेशन बिफोर गोइंग टू द फॉलोइंग करेक्ट फॉलोइंग एक्सप्लेनेशन वी शुड नो वॉट द रिएक्शन इज टेकिंग प्लेस बिटवीन डायल्यूट फेरस सल्फेट एंड एसिडिफाइड पर मैग्नेट सोल्यूशन सो फर्स्ट वी विल सी हाउ द रिएक्शन टेक प्लेस बिटवीन फेरस सल्फेट एंड पर मैग्नेट सोल्यूशन हेयर फेरस सल्फेट इज एफ एस ओ फोर देन पर मैग्नेट सोल्यूशन एसिडिफाइड पर मैग्नेट एसिडिफाइड मीन्स मिक्सड विद एसिड हेयर mixed with acid h2so4 is shown because it is acidified and per magnet is potassium per magnet its color is purple as the ferrous sulfate react with acidified potassium per magnet it will forms fe2so4 ka whole thrice plus mnso4 plus k2so4 plus water here fe is plus 2 oxidation state and after the reaction fe changes to the plus 3 oxidation state it means oxidation state is increased from fe plus 2 to fe plus 3 it means kmno4 is an oxidizing agent and oxidizes ferrous sulfate fe plus 2 ferrous sulfate in which iron is in the form of fe plus 2 to fe2 so4 whole thrice means ferric sulfate in fe plus 3 oxidation state so it is clear now that here potassium per magnet acidified potassium per magnet is an oxidizing agent now after understanding the concept we will discuss here the explanation a is KMnO4 is an oxidizing agent. It oxidizes FeSO4. Yes, this is correct. Ferrous sulfate acts as oxidizing agent and oxidizes KMnO4. That that is wrong. Already explained. I have explained. The color disappears due to dilution. No reaction is involved. That is also wrong because reaction is involved. Only dilution is not there. This is also wrong. KMnO4 is an unstable compound and decomposes in presence of ferrous sulfate to a colorless compound that is also wrong so the correct answer here is kmno4 is an oxidizing agent it oxidizes ferrous sulfate from fe plus 2 state to fe plus 3 state so i think it is clear now question number 7 is which among the following is or are double displacement reaction first one is lead plus copper chloride gives lead chloride plus cu it is actually the displacement reaction not the double displacement reaction here only lead is more reactive than copper so it will displace uh, copper from its salt so it is a displacement reaction not a double displacement reaction now second one sodium sulfate plus barium chloride gives barium sulfate plus 2 sodium chloride in this reaction a white substance is formed insoluble white substance is formed uh, due to barium sulfate and that is white, uh, insoluble white substance of barium sulfate is called the precipitate and that's why this reaction is also known as precipitation reaction and including the precipitation reaction the reactions in which there is an exchange of ions between the reactants are called double displacement reaction and in this reaction we can see that sodium and barium they are exchanging themselves that's why this is a double displacement reaction carbon plus oxygen gives third one is carbon plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide it is a simple 
कॉम्बिनेशन रिएक्शन वेयर ऑक्सीजन इज कंबाइनिंग विद कार्बन सो इट इज नॉट ए डबल डिस्प्लेसमेंट रिएक्शन सो नेक्स्ट फोर्थ इज मेथेन प्लस ऑक्सीजन गिवस सीओ टू प्लस एच टू इट इज ऑल्सो नॉट ए डबल डिस्प्लेसमेंट रिएक्शन इट इज द कंबक्शन रिएक्शन ऑफ मेथेन बर्निंग ऑफ नेचुरल गैस वी कैन से इट इज द बर्निंग ऑफ नेचुरल गैस एंड एक्सोथर्मिक रिएक्शन इट इज नॉट ए डबल डिस्प्लेसमेंट रिएक्शन ड्यूरिंग द डबल डिस्प्लेसमेंट रिएक्शन देर इज द एक्सचेंज ऑफ आयंस एंड हेयर देयर इज नो एक्सचेंज ऑफ आयंस सो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी सेकेंड वन एंड सेकेंड ओनली सेकेंड ऑल अदर्स आर नॉट डबल डिस्प्लेसमेंट रिएक्शन सो ओनली सेकेंड इज इन द ऑप्शन बी so correct answer is b second question number 8 is which among the following statement or statements is or are true exposure of silver chloride to sunlight for a long duration turns gray due to so before going to the statements first we should know how the reaction takes place when we keep the silver chloride to the sunlight for a long duration so first of all we should know the reaction in this reaction as we will keep silver chloride formula is agcl which is in the it which is the solid as we keep it into the sunlight for long duration it will decompose and gives two silver here also it will be two plus that will be in the solid state and chlorine gas chlorine gas will be in the chlorine gas it is gaseous state here gray color is due to the formation of this silver that is gray in color this is silver which is decomposed now we will go to the statements first one statement is the formation of silver by decomposition of silver chloride yes here as i explained this is due to gray color is due to the formation of silver which is formed by the decomposition of silver chloride decomposition of silver chloride so this statement is correct second is sublimation of silver chloride no it is not the sublimation of silver chloride it is decomposition sublimation is a physical change not a chemical change here there is the decomposition so this is wrong then third is decomposition of chlorine gas from silver chloride here there is not the decomposition of chlorine chlorine is formed but it is not the decomposition of chlorine so this statement is also wrong then oxidation of silver chloride there is also not the oxidation of silver chloride as we can see ag is here uh, silver oxidation state is plus 1 and here silver oxidation state is 0 so oxidation state is decreasing so we can't say it is the oxidation so this one is also wrong so correct option is option first statement is correct now we will find out out of a b c d which one is correct only first one is correct so first one is correct only so it will be um, option a a is correct first only question number 9 is solid calcium oxide reacts vigorously with water to form calcium hydroxide by liberation of heat this process is called slaking of lime calcium hydroxide dissolves in water to form its solution called lime water which among the following is or are true about slaking of lime and the solution formed before going to the statements first we will discuss about the slaking of lime reaction so here 
how the reaction takes place that is calcium oxide solid calcium oxide which is also known by the name of quick lime formula is cao which is in the solid state as we dissolve it react it with the water water is formula h2o and it is in the liquid state then it forms flaked lime formula is caoh whole twice in state will be aqueous that is slaked lime or calcium hydroxide or we can say slaked lime and this process is called slaking of lime during this process there is the release of a large amount of heat and reaction mixture goes warmer it means it is a combination reaction and exothermic reaction in which heat is evolved there is the formation of calcium hydroxide and as we know that calcium hydroxide is the base and base means ph will be more than 7 base the ph of the bases is 7 to 14 means more than 7 now we will discuss the statements first statement is it is an endothermic reaction no it is wrong it is not an endothermic reaction there is the heat is evolved release of the heat so it is a exothermic reaction so second statement is it is an exothermic reaction yes statement second is correct third is the ph of the resulting solution will be more than 7 yes in the resulting solution there is the formation of calcium hydroxide which is a base and the ph of the bases is 7 to 14 means more than 7 this statement is also correct fourth the ph of the resulting solution will be less than 7 less than 7 means acid it is not an acid so this statement is also wrong now now in which option we will find second and third second and third that we you can see it is in the option b so correct answer is option b second and third question number 10 is barium chloride on reacting with ammonium sulfate forms barium sulfate and ammonium chloride which of the following correctly represents the type of reaction involved first of first before going to the type of reaction first we should understand this reaction so in this reaction what they are saying that is barium chloride formula is BaCl2 plus ammonium sulfate formula is NH4 whole twice SO4 as it will react it will give barium sulfate BaSO4 plus ammonium chloride 2 NH4 Cl nh4 cl barium sulfate as we have already stated it forms a solid precipitate solid uh, substance which is not dissolved into the aqueous solution and it will form a white ppt and because of the formation of white ppt this reaction is known as precipitation reaction including precipitation reaction here it is also the exchange of ions with each other barium and ammonium ions are exchanging with each other and the reactions in which there is an exchange of ions between the reactants are called double displacement reactions also so this is the uh, precipitation reaction and it is also a double displacement reaction so second and fourth both options are correct now we will see in which it is given second and fourth we can see that option d 
ऑप्शन डी इज गिवन सेकेंड एंड फोर्थ सो दिस इज द करेक्ट आंसर एंड हेयर वी हैव कंप्लीटेड ऑल अवर टेन एम सी क्यूज आई होप दैट इज बेनिफिशियल फॉर यू सो फ्रेंड्स इफ दिस वीडियो इज बेनिफिशियल फॉर यू एंड क्लियर योर कॉन्सेप्ट सो प्लीज लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड शेयर द वीडियो विद योर अदर फ्रेंड्स एंड मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट सब्सक्राइब दिस यूट्यूब चैनल एन सी ई आर टी साइंस मंत्रा आई विल ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड यू द लिंक ऑफ अदर क्लास टेंथ साइंस वीडियो इन माई डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट दैट डाउट्स ऑल्सो यू कैन आस्क इन द कमेंट बॉक्स थैंक यू